Hi scientists, welcome to PS Science. Today's lesson is about transmission and reflection of light. Have you ever seen a laser? They look like this. I'm gonna hold a piece of paper up and point the laser at the paper. Do you see that? Lasers are a special type of light. They emit very, um, a narrow beam of red light. And you can see the red light and the dot that it makes on the piece of paper. These are really fun to play with if you have a cat. Uh, the cat loves to down, bounce, to chase this little dot around thinking it's a bug or something. Now, today I actually have a mystery that I would really like your help solving. We know the laser's on because we can see the red dot, but why can't we see the beam in between? Watch this. I've got a dot, but if I try to actually see the beam of light, it doesn't appear, right? There's the dot, but the beam is invisible. Why do you think that is? Our eyes are open, there's light in the room. What are we missing that's allowing us to be able to see the beam of laser light as it travels through the air? Now, I want you to remember, in order to see something, you need light to bounce off of something. So when the laser light hits the piece of paper, it bounces off the paper and then goes into my eyes, goes into the camera, and that's how you can see. So right now, the only place where the light is reflecting is at the paper. Between the laser and the paper is full of air. Now those particles of air, they're way too small to help the light bounce off of it so it can get into your eyes. We need some help. We need to give it some bigger particles to bounce off of. So we're gonna try to do a little experiment. This is a spray bottle. And when I spray it, I don't know if you saw that, it sprays little droplets of water into the air. What we're gonna do is get the room nice and dark so that you can really see this phenomenon. And we're going to turn on the laser and then spray the spray the uh, spray bottle in between the laser and the and the red dot we see and we're going to try to see if we can figure out what's going on are you ready to try great let's do it okay here we are it's pitch black and i've got my laser now what i'm going to do is point it against the wall and i'm going to spray some my spray bottle and I want you to watch very closely. Do you see what's happening? As I'm spraying, suddenly the laser light is appearing. When it was just air, you couldn't see the beam. But as soon as I put the water, you can now see the beam and it's reflecting light. So what's happening? Light is coming from the laser. It's bouncing off the water particles and it's traveling into our eyes, allowing us to see it. Isn't science cool? Different types of objects will either transmit or reflect light. What we mean by transmit is allowing light to pass through it. Can you see this piece of glass? When I put it up in front of my face, it's almost like it's not even there. Light is coming from my window. It's passing through this um, piece of glass bouncing off my face, passing directly through the piece of glass again, and going to the camera so that you can see my face very clearly behind the glass. We call this type of an object transparent because you almost don't even realize it's there. Glass is a good example of a transparent object. Even the glasses in my eyeglasses are transparent, allowing me to see very clearly. Another type of object that does not transmit light and instead reflects light is called opaque. This is an object that is opaque because you can't see what's behind it. Here I am sitting here. You know I'm sitting here. Here's my hand. Here's my PS Science t-shirt. But you can, none of the light that is leaving my, that's bouncing off my face and reflecting off my face is going through this object. Only the light that's coming from the window and reflecting off the front end is getting to your eyes. That is what we mean by opaque. It reflects light. It does not allow light to transmit. There is a third type of object that kind of transmits light but doesn't do it super clear. 
we call those objects translucent. So here's an example of a translucent object. You can kind of make out my face behind this block, but it's not very clear. The light sort of passes through it, but it's also kind of jumbled on the other side. So when that happens, we call an object translucent. Now it's your turn to be a scientist. You should go to, around your house and find as many objects as you can that fit into one of these three categories, either transparent, oh, I lost my transparent object, here it is, either transparent, so you can see right through it, it transmits light, opaque, meaning no light can travel through it, or translucent, which means light partially travels through but gets jumbled up on the other side, so there's no clear picture. Find as many objects as you can and compare the how you see through them, or if you see through them at all. Make a note of the objects and put those in your science notebooks and record your findings so that you can refer back to them later on. Thanks, scientists. Thanks for exploring and investigating with me today. See you next time. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.